This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is theory, SAP theory. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is theory. What is theory? What are the key features of SAP theory? Okay, we'll understand why the theory is introduced. Issues with the traditional user interface, issues with the normal traditional GUI, which we are using all the time. We'll understand that. Then the difference between user interface and user experience. Okay, role based theory user experience. We'll see that. How the simplified user experience. Okay, then the, we'll discuss about Fiori Launchpad, how to log into Fiori. Okay, then different app types, what are the different app types available in Fiori? And finally, how to use the Fiori apps. We will execute one transaction using Fiori apps. Okay, so first we'll start with the introduction to SAP Fiori. So basically, what is Fiori? Fiori is a collection of apps with a simple and easy to use experience for broadly and frequently used SAP software functions that work seamlessly across devices. Either it can be a desktop, tablet, or smartphone. Okay. So basically, this theory is nothing but a another method of another way of accessing the SAP system. Okay. So previously, uh, normally we are accessing the SAP system through traditional GUI. Okay, so apart from this, this is another method of accessing SAP. This is browser based basically. Okay, so normally, previously, whatever we have seen, we were accessing the SAP through this log on pad. We are double clicking on this log on pad. And then we are connecting to our server. We are log, we are connecting to our server. And then we are entering our user ID and password. This is the normal traditional way of logging into SAP. Other than this, in S4 HANA, they have come up with this theory. It's basically a browser based. Okay. So this is the, these are the key features of theory. Okay. So it is a new browser based user interface. Okay. It, you can log into this theory using uh, any browser like Internet Explorer, Chrome. Uh, Firefox or any any other one. Okay, instead of logging into your regular ERP system via GUI, you will be using the theory. So instead of traditional GUI, you can use this theory. Okay, so it is announced in 2013 and ultimately it is released in 2014. So theory is available from 2014 onwards. Okay, and you don't need to be on S4 HANA. So it's not that ERP on ERP also you have some uh, apps, theory apps, but those works only if you have the database, HANA database. Okay. Now it is free license for SAP customers. Okay. So whenever a company or a organization implements S4 HANA, they will get this theory as a free. Okay. It supposed, support, supports HTML5 and can be used on any device. So this theory can be accessed from any device. Okay, it can be you can access it from your laptop or computer or tab or or from mobile phone also, smartphone also. Okay. So it supports multiple operating system like Windows, iOS, and Android. Okay, it 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 uh, supports uh, multiple OSs. Okay. And multi language support. Okay, it, it supports multi languages and ever increasing number of apps. So they are keep on adding the new apps basically. Okay, so this is the theory. Okay, so the why they why they have come up with this theory is in the traditional GUI, we are using transactions. Transactions. Now, here in the GU in the theory, we will be using apps. Apps. And these apps are also called as tiles. These are called as tiles. Whether you call tiles or apps, both are same. Okay. So why they have come up with this theory is the, the thing is 
this traditional GUI, this GUI you can access only from a laptop or a computer. Okay, you cannot access through this through mobile phone. Okay, so or through a tab. So that's the reason they came up with the theory. And another one is nowadays uh, uh, people are uh, doing any activity through smartphones in this era. Nowadays, let's say I want to order some food. So people just pick up a smartphone. They will just order food. So nowadays, if you want to book a train ticket or if you want to book a flight ticket, okay, people are doing everything through a smartphone. Okay, so that's the reason there is a, a demand uh, uh, from the users to access SAP via smartphone or tab. That's the reason they come up with this browser based access, browser based user interface. Okay. So basically, here in the traditional GUI, as I just explained, we will be using transactions and here we will be using the apps. In the theory, you will be using the apps. And as I explained previously, this theory can be accessed from any device mobile phone, smartphone, tabs, laptops, or computers from any device. Okay. So this is the one we just discussed. Okay. The sample theory screens looks like this. Looks like this. And it is a browser based, it is a browser based application and mobile friendly. Okay, you can access it from a smartphone and it is very easy to navigate. This I will show it in the system. Okay, when compared with GUI, it is somewhat easy to navigate. Okay, this I will show it in the system when we go to the theory. Okay, so now uh, these are the theory principles. Okay, theory design principles role based, it is responsive, it is very simple to use. Okay, and coherent. Okay and instant value okay i'll explain you all these things one by one when we go to the when we log into the theory theory as of now it responsive means it can be accessed from any devices any device and according to the device it will adjust its uh, features basically okay I'll, i will show you this in the system all these features once we log into the system i will show you one by one okay so this is the features design principles of the theory okay so first one is the it's a role based so basically theory what happens is uh, it's a role based so normally uh, in the traditional gui when you log into sap it is like it's basically like a function based functional based okay so when you when you log into theory you will get all the transactions first. okay suppose if I log into uh, GUI, suppose let's say I log in with my user ID. Okay, so when I, when we log in here, you will get all the transactions here. Okay, so now we have to search for our transaction. Okay, and when you go to the transaction, then only you will come to know whether you have access to authorization to the transaction or not. When you go to the transaction, then only you'll be able to find it. So here it is very uh, complex. You don't know to which transaction you have authorizations. So you because everything is available on in on the screen, all transactions will come. But whereas in case of theory, whereas in case of theory, only according to your role you will get the apps, decomposed apps for each role, exposing only relevant data and function. So here. According to your role, you will get only the relevant apps. So basically, the theory is role based. It's a role based. Okay. And you have only one entry point for the user and UX following common design directions. Okay. So that is a single entry point you have. So basically, the traditional GUI is a functional based, functional based, whereas the theory which we are going to discuss, which we are going to see it in the system, is a role based role based okay and only when the user logs in he will get the apps according to his role the apps according to to the role he has been assigned so that is a, a sap theory design okay now we will talk about theory launch launch pad okay so 
the SAP Fiori Launchpad is a shell that hosts SAP Fiori apps and provides services such as navigation, personalization, embedded support, and application configuration. So Fiori Launchpad is nothing but the initial screen. Okay, it is an entry point. It is also the entry point to SAP Fiori apps on mobile and desktop devices. So it's basically the initial login screen, Fiori Launchpad. Okay, the Launchpad displays a home page with tiles which can display live status indicators such as number of open tasks. I will show you this in the system. Okay, each tile represents a business application that the user can launch. So here instead of transactions you will have apps these apps are also called as tiles okay each the sap fiori apps on the home page are arranged in tile groups so these individual apps tiles are arranged into a tile group i will show you this in the system okay so basically uh, what you need to understand here is in the in the traditional gui in the traditional GUI or let's say in the SAP ECC, let's call it as ECC. ECC, we have only GUI. Now in the in the S4 HANA, in the S4 HANA, you have both GUI and also Fiori. Fiori. Okay, you have both. So this Fiori we are discussing. Okay. So here in the tradition in the GUI you have the transactions. In the GUI, we call them, we executed the functions using transactions. Transactions. Okay. Whereas in the theory, theory, you will have the tiles. Tiles, and people call this as apps also similar to like our mobile apps we have whatsapp uh, facebook twitter linkedin you have all those apps right on our smartphone similarly in the theory also you will have the apps and some people call them as tiles also. both same okay uh, so now this is how a theory launchpad looks like once you log into theory once you log into theory the initial login screen will looks like this which is called theory launchpad Okay, these are all called apps. These are called apps. Okay, and these are also called as sometimes as tiles. Tiles. Okay, so when they log in into the theory, they will get only apps according to their role. According to the role, not all the transactions or not all the apps. So user will get this one, and Im immediately he will double click on the uh, app. Uh, using which he want to execute a function okay so no need to remember the t code or no need to type the t code simply the moment he logs in that apps will be available he'll just simply double click on it okay so now next one is how to log on to theory okay so how to how to log into theory there are two methods huh? two ways to start the theory launchpad one is via direct url in your web browser okay another one is from your traditional gui from your gui you will be using this transaction you need to enter this transaction in your command field and when you enter it will take you to the theory okay so now first we'll we'll see this one we'll see this one and then we will see the web browser method okay so now let's we are into this one right okay let me log in again freshly okay i will log into the normal traditional gui okay i logged into the traditional gui now in the command field you need to enter this this one you need to enter slash and slash ua2 slash flp so you need to enter this and then once you enter this just click on the button enter now it will take you to the field see automatically it will launch okay normally it should come automatically the, the screen should come automatically 
okay but in this system there are some settings missing that's why i am entering the my user id again okay I entered it click on the button lock now your fear apps will come so this is the apps okay these are all this this is called an app okay or tiger and if you observe this if you see here one two three four five six these six 